Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to do some vintage gel polish painting um, and we're going to do some of these designs here on these boards quite simple, quite easy to do okay, so I've already prepared my bases um, and they've all had um, a matte finish so I like to do my artwork over a matte base so I use gems and that was Martha matte where detailer brush I'm going to use is my crystal nails zero short brush and you're also going to need a dotting tool to do your English roses very simple to do so on this nail I've done um, two coats of Lily from Gems Spring Collection stunning colour I really really like it and I've topped with Martha Matte now I'm just going to put some Angel which is a white gel polish on my silicone pad and we're going to go in and we need to paint just some wiggly circles so we don't want perfect circles we want lots of movement of your brush to create a wiggly white base for our roses to sit on so once you've drawn the outline just fill that in with your gel polish and we need to create another three of these on this nail And on to our last one, just filling that in and once you're happy, pop that into the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. So now on to our roses. So I've just used Molly and I've added a little bit of white to Molly and we just put a dot of Molly, a dot of your white and then just using your dotting tool just wiggle them round in a circular motion to help create your little English rose. So a dot of Molly, a dot of Angel and wiggle it round so again it doesn't want to be a perfect circle lots of movement creating that rose dot of molly dot of angel or white and lots of wiggly motions working your way inwards towards the center of that rose and our last one dot of molly in with your white and a wiggly motion and once you're happy, pop it in the lamp to cure. So now we're going to go on to our leaves. So I haven't got any green gel polish with me at home. So I'm using acrylic paint from Crystal Nails, the One Move paints. And just painting in a few little leaves wherever I want. There's no right or wrong way. It's just wherever, you just look at your design and think, wherever you want to place one
and onto our last rows another leaf down in that bottom corner and then we'll just wait for that paint to dry before we go in and top coat so I'm going to do um, oh no we're not we're going to add some dots in so we're going to just add a few little white dots still using our angel or gel polish and just gently placing just some random white dots in between your flowers just to add a little bit more to that vintage look just keep looking around that design figuring out where to place another dot and pop that in the lamp and now I'm going to top coat so we're using Tina Top which is a tack free top coat so sealing all that design pop it into the lamp to cure for 60 seconds so on to our next design and we're going to do the same style of roses but over some stamping this time don't worry if you've not got a stamper you can use those dots again um, it'll still look just as pretty so your stamping kit you're going to need um, a stamping plate that's got writing on it some delicate writing you're going to need your scraper uh, your stamping polish and your stamper so that's the design I'm going to use and I use the Perfect Nails Black Stamping Polish so it's quite important that you have everything set out ready to go because you do have to be quite quick with stamping so just setting everything out ready then I know it's all in order for me to go give my stamping plate a quick wipe with some acetone and then in oh, and another wipe And in I go with my black stamping polish, scrape it off, press it on with my stamper and roll it on to my nail display tip. I'm not too bothered about that missing area at the top because our roses are going to cover that. But I do want to try and put another little bit in towards the bottom of the tip. So just giving my plate a quick clean again, back in with my polish, scrape it off, pick up the design and just try and figure it out the best you can. Just add a touch more up there if it'll go. So I'm quite happy with that because I'm not too bothered about that bottom half because we can pop another rose there. It's no big deal. So when I'm just going to clean all my equipment, so give my stamping plate another quick wipe, give my um, scraper a quick wipe, make sure my lids are on all my polishes and we can get them out of the way because we're not going to need them again. Okay, I'm going to pop Martha Matte, our matte top coat, over this stamping to protect that and pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Now back to our dotting tool to get these roses in. So just like we did before, but this time because they're a little bit bigger, I put two dots of our colour and then on the opposite side two dots of our white and then start wiggling them around and creating that row so remember it doesn't want to be a perfect circle we want to try and get a little bit of shape to it so lots of wiggly lines and we want to do this three times
onto our final rows and once you're happy with that just pop it in the lamp to cure and then we can pop some leaves on So back in with your detailer brush and your green paint or green polish whichever you have and just randomly placing your leaves wherever you want on the design whatever little gaps you want to try and fill no right or wrong just wherever you feel it's needed Once you're happy with that, just wait for your paint to dry or cure your polish, whichever you've used. And then we're ready to top coat. So we're going to make this one shiny too. So back to Tina Top, our tack free shiny top coat, to seal in those roses and pop it in the lamp for a 60 second cure. Okay, so on to our third design and we're going to do the, the clock face now. So this tip, I've put two colour coats of Jodi and used my matte um, top coat. And I'm going to use Eve, the black gel polish from Gems Gel Polish Collection. So we're going to draw just the outline of our clock face just planning out where you want it to go I'm going to start up in this corner and draw in that half circle round that um, to the edge of your nail tip just tidying up any edges and when you're ready pop it in the lamp for a flash cure Now I'm going to outline the clock face and I'm using Perfect Nails Cream Gel in this gorgeous silvery shimmer colour. So just running that on the outline of our black um, clock face. Being careful not to go over the black. Don't worry if you do, we can touch it up, go back. And once you're happy with that, pop it in the lamp for a flash cure.
So now we're going to go in and draw a couple of hearts on the bottom section of this design. Now the easiest way I've found to do hearts is to start off by doing two little dots at the top and then connect those dots coming through into like a um, bit of a triangle shape and then fill it in. I'm not saying it will be better for you, it's you just have a play around with it and see you might be a natural and be able to draw hearts just straight away. I just need those little guidelines to help me figure out and position things where I want it to be. Once you've filled in the heart, pop it into the lamp for a flash cure I'm now going to go in using the silver I used for the outline of my clock and do exactly the same technique, two little dots, connect those dots up through a little triangle and fill it in. And I'm going to pop another one of those silver hearts overlapping in the other corner. Two little dots. connect them up and fill it in. Once you're happy, pop it in the lamp to cure. So I'm now going in with a little bit of white gel and I'm just going to outline these hearts with my detailer brush just to give them a little bit more definition. Just take your time, get it right, don't need to rush and once you're happy pop it in the lamp to cure, I'll just get that fluff off my brush. So now on to our numbers in the clock, our Roman numerals. So we start off by doing an X at the top, followed by two little lines to create our number 12. And then three little lines for our number 3. And for our number 6, it's an upside down V with a little line at the side of it. And then I'm just going to pop a few little dots in between those numbers. And then draw in the centre for your hands to join on to. Straight line from the number 12 down and draw in a little triangle shape. And your second hand, 
draw in a little triangle shape and once you're happy pop it in the lamp to cure. So ready for top coat again back to our Tina top. I'm not being too stingy with it because some clients won't like the slight bumpiness that the, the, the work the painting might create so a little tip turn it upside down maybe before you go into the lamp now on to our fourth design so we're going to start off by drawing a little wheel of our bicycle in the bottom corner using our black gel polish And the centre of your wheel and paint in the little spokes of the wheel. Flash cure when you're ready. Just tidying up any edges. Pop it into the lamp. So now we're going to draw in the bicycle frame. So just a straight diagonal line from the wheel going off the side of your nail tip. And then another straight line across and flash cure. Onto our basket. So it's just a little box shape over the wheel area angling it slightly down because it doesn't have to be square because we are going to paint in some of those little English roses again so I'm um, filling that in with Lisa which is a lovely chocolate brown polish just popping a little bit on my silicone pad and painting in that little space and when you're ready, pop it in the lamp to cure. We're now going in with our black and drawing in the handlebars of the bike. So I start off by doing a little bit of a ball shape, little wiggle and then a straight line going back towards the basket and a tiny little line as, a, as the brakes of the bike flash cure it and back to our dotting tool so one single dot of colour, one single dot of white and roll them around to create a tiny little rose so we want to do this with a couple of colours so I've used um, Molly and Erin which is a lovely lilac colour both with white as my centre and just popping them across the basket so it looks like the flowers are coming down out of the basket and over the wheel and once you're happy pop it in the lamp for a flash cure We're now going to move on and draw a blossom tree coming over our bike. So thin wiggly lines to create the tree. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to do lots and lots of tiny little dots of colour for our blossoms. So back to our dotting tool and just randomly dotting lots of colour all around those branches to fill in all them gaps. Adding a couple of colours if you like, 
once you're happy pop it in the lamp for a cure And once that's cured, over we go with our Tina top. So again, turning that tip upside down to let gravity pull that gel polish towards the center of the nail if you feel that the client won't quite like a bumpy effect. And into the lamp to cure. Onto our last design, our little bird in a cage. So I'm doing this over a blended background. And I start off by drawing in with a black gel paint the trunk of the tree across the bottom half of the nail. We've just got a little lump in that gel polish, I think. So we'll just get that out and fill in that side gap. And then go in to bring our first branch that's dipping over into the center of the nail so it's really thin branch coming round into the center of the nail and then lots of branches coming off after it again doesn't have to be super neat because we are going to fill it in with lots of blossoms just lots of thin wiggly lines flash cure it and then on to our bird cage so I always start off by popping a little dot as my starting point and then I draw a line across which is going to be my finishing point, the, the bottom of our bird cage and then bringing that paint round on a slight bend to create the bars of our bird cage. So I do three that's on a bend, then do one straight and then three on the other side on a bit of a bend there's our last one then I pop a line across for the little ledge that the bird's going to sit on flash cure it and to draw in our bird almost like a little bit of a roller coaster so coming down flicking up and then a U shape for its body and fill in your outline once you're happy with that pop it into the lamp for a flash cure And finally onto our little blossom. So I'm using Erin and I'm going to use Angel which is a white. So randomly placing different size dots all over to create these blossom buds on our tree. Filling in all the little gaps. Just a mixture of whatever colours you want to choose but I'm using Erin and Angel so a lilac and a white. And once you're happy, pop it in the lamp for a cure. And top it off with our tech free top coat, Tina top. 
and pop it into the lamp for a 60 second cure. And there's our five designs guys. Hope you like them. Please subscribe to the channel. Any questions, just leave it in the comments and I'll be more than happy to help. Have a play around with it. Lots of different colours to choose from, lots of styles. And that's, that's it. So take care guys, stay safe and thanks for watching.